Hi everyone, welcome to ProVisual Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how you can easily set up and showcase your design using ProVisual and 3D models. Let's navigate to the 3D Models section and select an object for our tutorial. The library contains a vast variety of high-quality 3D models, and it is updated weekly. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how you can easily customize the materials and design for an aluminum can. Let's choose a right model. I think this is the one. Let's take a closer look at it. Yes, this is definitely what we need. Let's create a new project. This is what our 3D model of aluminum can looks like. As you can see, the materials are already applied to it and make it look like a real can. Let's tweak these materials just a little. Starting with the key element, let's pick a different color. You can either select or customize the color using the color palette or enter the color code manually, like this. Next, copy the settings of the materials and apply them to the top side element. It's really simple and fast. The next step is to change the color of the material and then set it up. Next, let's go to the bottom side part and apply the material that we copied previously. Now let's change the color of the material. Yes, this is exactly it. Let's keep going. Now let's go to Design on the Scene Elements tab and change the color of this element. Then we'll tweak the material a little again to get the best look. Great! We have customized our can's materials. Next, let's go to the Environment tab and change the lighting of our 3D model. We will adjust it a little. The next step is to rotate the light horizontally and vertically. Like this, the model looks more vibrant and we get a professional image. Let's add a design to our 3D model. To add a design, you can click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. Or, you can download a UV map and prepare the design files in another editor. I've already made some images to apply on our aluminum can. Let's add the first design element. In this window, we see the editor where we can move and modify our design. Let's reset the coordinates of the design position. The next step is to add the design to another side of our 3D model. To do this, click on the Add Image icon and then select an image. Great, let's save our work. Now let's add a new design layer with text. To add a design, click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. Let's slightly reduce the size of the design element and move it to a different position on the 3D model. It's very convenient that the design and all editings are displayed on the 3D model in real time, here, on the left. Let's save our design. Done. Now let's give some personality to our design. To do this, we will slightly change the material settings of our design. Let's select the design layer we need. Then let's change its color. And customize the material. Next, we will apply the bevel effect. Then 
This will add volume to our design. Now let's copy our design settings and apply them to another design layer. We will apply the bevel effect to the text layer as well. Just awesome. Let's see what kind of pre-made backgrounds we have. We can choose a solid fill as the background, or we can go for a gradient fill. Here, we can select the colors and also set the direction of the fill, linear or radial. You can also pick one of the pre-designed backgrounds, or add your own image. Let's add one. Excellent. You can enable moving lights. You can also rotate the 3D model to see how the design looks in motion. Saving our project. Once you've completed your design, you can share it by clicking the share button. You'll get a shareable link to open an interactive viewer of your 3D model. Share it with colleagues, friends, or clients. And that's the end of our tutorial on how to edit an aluminum can 3D model. Today we've learned how easy it is to customize the materials of a 3D model and add personality to our design. We hope this has been helpful for you. See you in the upcoming tutorials.